so in the previous class we have understood some basic information regarding this smart DCR part now let's understand how the software will work so uh, the first part that you need to keep in mind that is related to the drawing part right now in this smart DCR you have this scrutinary process now this process will scrutinize the submitted drawing by comparing with the building bylaws and it will generate the report now the uploaded drawing should be in dot dwg format that is your autocad format autocad dwg format right architects can check their drawing status whether successfully submitted or written back through email so basically this process contains two part the pre-check part and the scrutiny engine now in the pre-check part it will check the drawing format as per the user manual given and also the integrity of the polylines lines and text so here we need to understand how the process will follow to draw a particular drawing and which parameters we need to keep in mind for the lines part as well as for the polyline parts right and which parameters we need to consider in the text so we will get back to that point further now in the next part in the scrutiny engine part if the drawing is successfully cleared through pre-check the scrutiny engine will check the drawing as per the regulations so pre-check is basically given for finding out all the polyline lines and text related problems in the drawing so when the applicant submits the building map proposal this software enables the applicant to rectify the defects in the drawing and make it suitable to run in the scrutiny software now it reads the drawing elements and lists all the discrepancies in the drawing now it will process the files and give the output with the various parameters like setback boundary, multiple polyline geometry problems, invalid objects color, misplaced OTS, existence of blocks, regions, wipeouts and external references in the flow layers. So all these parameters first we need to understand that how the drawing will work and then we can proceed further. So here, here are the few points we have mentioned that you have to keep in mind that is the do's and don'ts right so let's understand that and then we will switch to the drawing part for the preparation methodology so here I have listed all the parameters that you have to keep in mind that floor plan sections elevations that has to be kept in scale 1 raised to 1 and it should be in meters right then after polyline shall be drawn in the form of lightweight polylines right because 3d polylines are not supported then polylines line thickness shall be 0 drawing object shall be placed in model space only then after site plan floor plan section elevation it has to be kept inside the bounding rectangle color 61 now basically that is the color code reference that we will understand later on in the further session now before color coding the drawing all the layers should be blocked except flow layers right and that has to be used by lay lock fade control command to reduce or increase the brightness of the original drawing and after completing the color coding we need to check the drawings now these are the points you need to take care now the all the drawing objects shall be in the 2d dimensional right z coordinates to kept in zero coordinate and it has to be placed without any elevation then block regions wipeout and other external references shall not be placed in the drawing as they will not be processed then the color coded items for example polylines lines and text which are intended to be processed must be in the layers starting with the floor other layers will be ignored by the software now we will understand this parameter further that how you have to create the layer how you have to provide a particular objects in the polylines lines and all that points right then after M text will not be processed by the software and whatever the text placed on the floor layer shall be text it should be in the text only then plans prepared using the educational version of AutoCAD or the other software like Revit cannot be accepted as it is as its use is limited okay and we can't use 3d objects so these are the points that you have to keep in mind now let's understand the procedure to create a drawing now these are the objects that you have to consider and drawn utilizing the line objects right so I am listing out all the parameters over here for example gate basement floor heights plinth height flow height side margins 
rear margin, mezzanine floor height, all these parameters it has to be drawn using the line objects. In a similar manner, in the next part that you have to keep in mind that this particular parameter has to be in the polyline objects. It has to be drawn using the polyline objects. So that is the plot boundary, margin boundary, right? Stead parking area boundary, rainwater harvesting trench, FSI, balcony, lift, staircase area, block distinguishing polyline. So that parameters has to be in the polyline objects. Similarly, these other parameters I have listed, you can check this out, right? Similarly, all these parameters must be in the polyline objects. Then parameter that has to be keep in the text objects right so these are the parameters that you have to keep in mind text should be kept as the following example reference name of blocks typical block text all this parameter the name of a particular segment should be in the text layer only for example for the different categories of floor for the different height you can consider the format like flow 1, 2, 3 and so on typically similarly for the building or a particular text objects right or which are the similar text blocks you can follow the particular this particular name like block 1, block 2 or you can give a short name like blk1, blk2 likewise so these are all the parameters that you have to keep in mind and it has to be in a particular segment like polylines lines and for the text sec then after width thread riser handrail lol road length all these parameters will be considered in the text object part now let's understand the preparation methodology to create a particular drawing now see preparation of the computerized plans for the smart dcr has a uh, few steps which are to be followed compulsory otherwise it will not process the drawing right so the first point that you have to keep in mind is the proposed floor layer now lay for example that as we have understand the floor one for floor two etc that has to be corresponding to the floor count similarly use floor stilt or floor ground for the common site related details for the proposed basement floor layer should be floor bf1 likewise and you can give a separate name like this if you have two basement go for the floor basement so give a short name like floor bf1 or floor bf2 corresponding to the basement floor cloud don't use the unnecessary space in the layer names similarly all the proposal drawing should be in dwg format as we have discussed then next point layers and colors should be followed as per the color code table so in the further session we are going to discuss that for which particular layers which category of the color code you have to follow then also in the site plan front setback should be in the bottom of the drawing avoid unnecessary coordinates in the polylines don't overlap the objects use wb use w block command to reduce the file size of the autocad drawing so you can check out that w block command in order to reduce your overall AutoCAD file size now if you have existing floor area then it shall be colored coded with the layer name as floor ground x or floor 1 x x e x now if you have the existing floor area then that should be colored coded with the layer name as floor ground e x e x stands for existing if you have two floors then go with you can go with the code like floor 01 ex ex stands for existing likewise the lower left corner of the bounding rectangle color 61 polyline that has to be kept in at the origin point that is your 000 coordinate now for construction already started before approval and for construction already completed before approval the layer name has to be kept as floor ground floor one floor two likewise so these are few important points that you have to keep in mind when you prepare your drawing for the submission part in the next class we will discuss the color code format keep learning keep sharing